everybody today i'll be speaking to you about um, the response of staphylococcus aureus klebsiella pneumoniae and streptococcus pneumoniae on plant derived nutraceuticals now it is very interesting to note that with our natural sources we can find that our plant materials will come in quite handy in helping us to unearth different scientific um, properties of our plants. Now, this particular research looked at this particular research looked at um, ginger. The official name is Zinzibir officinale, Allium um, barbenesis millo, Allium sepa, three varieties of um, Allium, Allium sativum. And these varieties of plant nutraceuticals were used as though they were antibiotics on Staphylococcus aureus, Klebsiella pneumoniae, and Streptococcus pneumoniae. And these were the microorganisms that were employed in this research based on the frequency with which these organisms are implicated in many illnesses that are reported. Now, the findings um, were somewhat what we expected, but not to the magnitude to which we found. Now, the finding dem findings demonstrated that garlic in all its concentrations with both methods, disc diffusion and turbidity, and in all its combinations produced remarkable zones of inhibition against all microorganisms that were tested. Ginger showed no zones of inhibition regardless of the combination, except though when it was combined with, um, with garlic. The the onions, the different varieties of onions, also showed some amount of inhibition. However, the inhibition that was observed was, was um, intermediate. While um, galanga, um, there was no zone of, of inhibition seen. Therefore, our conclusion, basic conclusion, was that the antimicrobial properties were not um, being able to extract the methodologies that we were able to use. Now, what was um, quite outstanding for us when we compared the zones that were produced by garlic with the conventional antimicrobial um, treatments we found that the zone of inhibition for the garlic it was far greater than that of some of the leading antibiotics that are noted to be used for treatment for these, these uh, microbes. Now the, while we used a combination of different types of um, nutraceuticals, and these were already named, the variety of the, the onions, um, which is the Allium sepa, and the, the garlic, we found that the different varieties of the garlic, of the onion, um, I should say, did not have any vast difference. The differences that we found was more so with the garlic. The garlic in itself is very much potent. The microorganisms were confirmed and identified by a microbiologist, while an agronomist assisted in the identification of the nutraceuticals that were used. And this brings us to the end of this quick summary. Quite basic, but eye-opening. And so I know that this will bring us to doing some additional studies with these nutraceuticals because they are quite a bit of um, antimicrobial or perhaps even antifungal properties that we can find. And we can extract these to use in the treatment of our patients. And of course, when we use these nutraceuticals, they, are, they produce a little or no um, significant harm to the patients. So here we go.